once you're done creating your account, you can go to the top right on the workspace and click on new assistant. Here, name your assistant. For this video, we're going to build an AI assistant. And something cool about VoiceFlow is that you can create your bot for many types of different apps. For this example, we'll be using WebChat. So let's start off by deleting the pre-built template they give us. Go to the top left and you'll see a mouse button. Click on it, select trackpad, select everything, and press delete key. Now go back to it and press on mouse so we can navigate easily. For this demo, let's suppose we're building a chatbot for the pet company Chewy. So let's get started. Here at the left, you can see all the contents in which you can add to the bot. Let's start off with the text. You simply drag it and drop it into the canvas and then link it from the start to the block. Here, we can say something like, Welcome to Chewy. We also want to give the bot the ability to generate a question for the user. So go over to the AI section and drag and drop response AI. Here we give the AI a prompt. Here we can give it, ask the user how you can help. Use six words. This is essential because we don't want the question to be too long. Now for the prompt settings, you could use any of these, but I'd rather use 3.5 Turbo. It's the fastest, most reliable and cheapest option there is as of now. Let's also have the chat button listen for input. Go over to the listen section. Here you have three options buttons, choice, and capture. So buttons are self-explanatory. Choice is basically the ability for the chatbot to understand the question you're asking. And based on that question, it'll take you to a different block specific, specifically about that question. And also capture, which basically puts the input inside a variable. So let's try choice. And here you have to create an intent. Let's create a new intent. This could be any type of question that a customer might have to the company, such as something about gift cards. Now here in utterance, you give it an example of the type of question the customer might have about gift cards. So let's say, how can I apply my gift card? Now here you generate, you can generate 5, 10, or 20 utterances. So let's choose 10. And here it will give me 10 different types of questions that the customer might have relating to gift cards. Now that we have our gift card choice card, we can link it to another block. It's going to be a response AI that's coming in first. Now it wouldn't make sense that an AI model would respond to our gift card question specifically about Chewy. So in this case, we would choose knowledge base. Knowledge base is a place where you can submit your own data and the bot will search through that data and find an answer for the question that was submitted by the user. The next step would be to go get the data and submit it into the knowledge base. So let's go do that. If, you're, if the website that you're doing this work for already has an FAQ, then that'll be very helpful since we can go look for the question specifically about the gift card. So as you can see here, we found the gift card questions and I could go ahead and copy all of these questions and their corresponding answer, but that would take too long. And for this specific video, I will just go ahead and copy the question, paste it into a text file and copy the answer as well and paste it. Now we can save that and go back to the knowledge base and go to the top right where it says add data source. We can add a text file. Here's the text file. It's going to take a second to load. Now that we added the text document to the knowledge base, we can go ahead and test it by asking it the question that we provided it. As you can see, it can now search through the knowledge base and provide 
an AI response eloquent to the question. There's a more powerful way of adding content to knowledge base, which is to simply give the chatbot access to the website by giving it the URL. Now, when you do this, the bot will search the answer asked by the user in the website and get it directly from there. Once it's done that, it's going to give an AI response. And as, and as you would imagine, this will save you a lot of time because instead of, instead of having to copy and paste every single Q&A, you would just simply copy the URL and paste it. And just like that, we've already built a very, very basic customer service bot for Chewy. Now let's test this out. Let's ask any question such as, do you charge sales tax? And there's your answer. And let's ask another question. How will I know when my order ships? And there is your answer from the knowledge base. If you found this video helpful for creating your first AI chatbot, please give us a like. Thank you for watching.